previously for something different I decided to turn a miniature into a snow globe to do something somewhat seasonal this time however I've decided to do a another Christmas themed miniature but this time with the Astro Militarum and I've started off with Corax White after initially having a white undercoat next I've applied Corn Red to the armour areas then for the face I've applied Bugman Grow first, afterwards applying Weakland Flesh Wash and then giving it some time to dry, followed by Kesler Flesh on some of the utmost areas and then painting in the eyes. And to get started with the boots, I've applied Abaddon Black to give it a chance to dry while I'm working on other parts of the miniature. For the armoured areas, I want to keep them fairly dark because the rest of the miniature and the base is actually going to be very light. I've therefore added a little bit of Agrax Earthshade with some Lamia Medium to thin it down and applied it into some of the areas to give it some depth and tone it down. And once it's dry, I've applied Agrax Earthshade by itself, this time without the Lamia Medium, into the same areas, again, just to try and make it a bit darker. Now to add a little bit of highlight to the armoured areas, I still want to keep it dark, but I've added a 50-50 mix of Upshapti Bone with the original Corn Red and just use this on the edges just to pick out some of those finer areas but again I'm still aiming with the idea trying to keep it as dark as possible. Now it's time to apply some white scar to bring out those light areas and make them pop. Time to put some candy cane stripes on the weapon and the little sign in the background with a light red followed by some lead belcher silver. For the green areas, I started with Cabalite green. The, the green then had War Boss green applied onto the top, and finally, a very small amount of Moot green, just to pick out some of the uppermost areas. The straps and gloves were painted with Rhinox hide, and the gloves, while the Rhinox hide was still wet, had Zamesi Desert applied at the same time to wet blend in a little bit of an extra highlight. Now going back to the boots, Scaven Blight Dinge was applied to the edges. Afterwards, at the front of the toe area, white scar was applied. You may also notice the effect of bluing on the end of the weapon, which I've covered in a separate video if you want to watch that at some point. To finish off the miniature, Seraphin Sapia was added to water texture acrylic from Vallejo and then painted into some fin stripes and left to dry. Once it was dry, a small amount of super glue was attached to one end, which was then applied to the drinking canister. After this, the snow effect was applied onto the base and onto the top of the little sign to finish off the end result. If you like the video remember to like share and click on the button on the lower right hand side to subscribe